thank you, uh, President. Uh, Commissioner, uh, along with uh, my colleague Paolo de Castro and others, I have had the misfortune to have been involved in the negotiations with the Council and the Commission uh, on the horizontal file for over 18 months and under three different presidencies of the Council. And to date, we've got little progress to show for all the effort that we've put in. At the heart of the problem is the Council view that every decision on secondary legislation should be made through implementing acts rather than delegated acts. I must remind the Council, although there's no one here from them tonight to hear this debate, that implementing acts should be used solely for the purpose of a uniform application of non-essential elements of policies across the EU. However, the Council position seems to be that Parliament should have no say whatever over what the Commission does in secondary legislation. The Council's position seems to be that we have no say, they have no recognition that, that Lisbon has changed the game and that power must now be shared and it is not business as usual. The Commission proudly claim they are the guarantors of the treaties. Yet time after time in the negotiations on alignment, the Commission end up siding with the Council in denying the Parliament its rights under co-decision. The Commission should be sticking up for the rights of Parliament and defending the correct interpretation of the Lisbon Treaty provisions. Commissioner, tonight I hear what you say about being sympathetic to our cause, but that is not borne out by our experience in the negotiations so far. Tonight I think it is crystal clear from this debate that this Parliament will fight tooth and nail during the CAP negotiations to protect our powers under Lisbon, even if that means holding the final agreement on CAP reform to ransom until the Council and the Commission agree to a sensible compromise on this key issue of recognising this Parliament's role in co-legislation. Thank you.